What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and we're at the Cyber Power Suite here at CES and they're going to show us a little bit about what they have going on. Hey Bob and hi Think Computer com uh, community. So this year we're showing off our Black Mamba 3. It's been refreshed with a more enthusiast feel. Uh, we got some new uh, components into the system this year, so we've actually loaded up on the water cooling. On the top we have a dual 360 water cooling setup, one for the CPU and one for the GPU specifically. We have dual 690s running over here, and we've worked with a close partner, XSPC, to come up with this new reservoir and um, pump setup. So we're using a line D5 pump here with our uh, reservoir bay. So this is for the 240 uh, millimeter setup, and then we also have a dual. We have a dual D5 pump for the 360. So this gets a lot of liquid going through uh, through the loop. Along with that, we also have a new radiator for the 360 and 240. So this is much bigger than our last version. Uh, fins are uh, better, better engineered, um, better heat dissipation, and it's just uh, better cooling overall. Okay, now this system, what would be the base price on the setup? So base pi price will be similar to uh, what we're offering right now, which is slightly under 4600 So now we have their all-in-one gaming PC, and they're going to tell us a little bit about it. Yes, Bob. So this is uh, one of our new products for 2013. This is our 23.6-inch all-in-one. It's uh, based on Intel's uh, DIY uh, all-in-one solution. So this is what we have. Uh, this is from Loop. So basically, um, at the back of the system is pretty much just like a mini ITX system where users can upgrade, add uh, hard drives. Uh, this one actually supports two. Um, expand the memory, change out the video cards. We found that this uh, all-in-one can actually support a GTX 670. We're still working with the ODMs and Intel to kind of find a better thermal solution for that. But right now we're powering this with a GTX uh, 650 Ti. I think optimal optimal range is a GTX 660 Ti. So basically, um, the system 23.6 uh, inch, 1080p resolution, and you get a touch screen. It's not 10 point touch, but you know you can still use the basic touch functions to navigate through Windows 8 and whatnot. So this one, you know, handles all of the latest games in medium to high qualities, no problems. So for people who don't really understand, behind the actual system, you can uh, take, you know, components out. You can upgrade the CPU, you know, you can upgrade the video card. So you are getting an all-in-one solution that can sit on your desk. You don't have a big tower. But at the same time, if something dies or say you want to upgrade the video card, you can do that yourself. And now for this, uh, this isn't released yet, though, is it? It's not out yet. Uh, we're scheduling to launch this by the end of Q1. Um, but yeah, like you said, you know, this is a great solution for uh, gamers who don't, you know, have a lot of space or don't want a lot of, um, don't want a hulking tower on, you know, on their desk or on the floor. And you know, this essentially plays a lot of the latest games, no problems. And do you have a price point? Right now, we don't have a set price point, but uh, we're working on a basic configuration that will start around 999 to about uh, 1099. So here we have the Fang book that was just announced, and they're going to tell us a little bit about this really awesome gaming laptop. Yes, Bob. So as you can see, this is a full 17-inch laptop. Um, it's uh, got a custom A panel design that we've worked with closely with an ODM partner. Um, this, as you as you mentioned, this is called the Fang Book. So we added some of our uh, Fang series DNA from the desktop side. We have this honeycomb design here. I'm not sure if you can see that. And then these panels here are raised, um, give it a more texture feel, very unique. And then here we have, of course, the 1080p screen, 17 inch, um, perfect for gaming, movie watching. We have a backlit keyboard here in red, and then you have the blue accent lighting across. Right now, the system is being powered by the Intel Ivy Bridge processor, i7-3630QM, with a NVIDIA GTX 675M. This laptop has support for uh, two hard drives and can expand uh, the memory up to 32 gigs. And when will this actually be available? This will be available uh, sometime in February, mid-February to early March. And the base price? Uh, starting at $12.99. So finally, they have a really, really cool mini PC kind of gaming system, and they're going to tell us a little bit about that. 
Yes, Bob. So this is our uh, Zeus S SFF uh, small form factor gaming PC that was just launched uh, January 7th. So we have a mini ITX Intel Z77 chipset based system here uh, powered by an Intel Core i7 processor. We also have an AMD uh, Radeon 7750 here. So as you can see in our demo, we're actually running uh, Skyrim. So you can play some of those latest titles um, perfectly fine uh, on the small form factor uh, PC. And also, because of its small size, you can pretty much fit anywhere. You can fit it in your living room, um, you know, on your desk. And also, uh, this case that we use uh, features a built-in IR, so you can actually attach a media center remote and use it as a media center PC as well as the gaming box. And what's your uh, base price on this? This is um, starting 799